friends today we would discuss about an important topic that is the sturm's conoid now sturm's conoid can be asked as a long question in your prof exams also and it can be asked in the mcq exam also so first of all our eye is not a perfect circle in our eye basically there is a horizontal meridian and there is a vertical meridian and there is difference in refractive power in both vertical meridian and horizontal meridian so the amount of refraction of the rays that are from the vertical meridian and that are from the horizontal meridian would be different so some rays would be converging and some rays would be diverging at some point of time so basically this circle and its light rays here we have depicted a sturm's conoid now basically what is sturm's conoid so basically sturm's conoid is an optical principle where there is instead of one focal point there are two different focal points in different meridian so there is one focal point of horizontal meridian and there is one focal point of vertical meridian and they don't converge on the same point so this is basically a sturm's conoid now we would understand what is the sturm's conoid and how the rays converge now at this point a the vertical rays are more converging as compared to the horizontal rays can you see here the horizontal rays are here the brown portion and this this grayish portion is the vertical rays so at point a vertical rays are more converging as compared to the horizontal rays so the point that is formed is a so the point that is formed is a horizontal oval point now we go further at point b here the vertical rays have totally converged but the horizontal rays are still converging so at this point b there is a horizontal line so there is a horizontal line at point b now at point c the vertical rays has started diverging but the horizontal rays are still converging so here again we get a horizontal oval point at point c now at point d the amount of convergence of the horizontal rays and the amount of divergence of the vertical rays is minimum so at point d there is the smallest circle or the best type of visual acuity this is called in sturm's conoid the circle of least diffusion it's an important point please note it then if we go again now there is more divergence of the vertical rays as compared to the horizontal rays convergence so here we get a vertical oval circle at point e then at point f here we get a vertical line because the horizontal rays have converged but the vertical rays are still diverging and beyond that we get a large vertical oval because both the rays would be now diverging so this is a pattern of sturm's conoid now the mcqs that can be asked in the exam is that the distance between the b and the f where there are the horizontal line and the vertical line is called interval of sturm's conoid and d is the circle of least diffusion where there is the best visual acuity and because it is the smallest circle so there is it is the spherical equivalent of the lens so these are some important points regarding the sturm's conoid 